Please welcome my guest at this time, Aaron Stevens. Aaron, I'm so honored that you asked me to be here with you today because I believe you have some important news to tell us and they might not be good news. So I'm just going to let you talk about what it is that you want to talk about. Thank you, Mayno. I appreciate you taking the time to do this. Um, first of all, I just wanted to look everybody here in the eye and um, publicly say that to make this announcement, it means the world to me that I have the backdrop of the NWA ring and I'm right here at an NWA show and um, pretty much I'm done. I have traveled the world. Uh, this ring specifically, I have spilt my blood, my sweat, and I've left a piece of my soul in here when I wrestled my tribute match to, of course, the late question mark. Um, the NWA has just been a place for me to kind of not only find who I was again, but just get revitalized. And it's been such a wonderful place here, but I'm done. This is it. This is goodbye. This is adios. Like, actually done? Are you crying? <laughs> I don't want you to go. <laughs> You're crying for me? May. Wait, can you just... Stop the cameras. Please don't go. Um, it's okay. Is it? Why? I, just, I don't want you to go, Aaron. May, you are a beautiful woman, but you're a lot prettier when you smile. I am? Yes. You think I'm beautiful? I know you're beautiful inside and out, and you should know that too. Come on. At all the time we spend in the makeup chair together, the little drawer with M&Ms that you girls let me, I, I have some if I, I'm careful with my eyeliner. You know, come on. That stuff, that means the world to me, mate. No, you are so special, <laughs> and I want you to know that. And whoever you're interviewing, yeah. I want you to know that no matter who, even me, you're the star. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I had no idea you felt this way, though. I do. I mean, if I'm going, maybe you'd like to go with me? You know that I'm from Brazil, right? So maybe we could go to Brazil together? Eu aceito. <laughs> aceito de verdade? Você vai comigo pro Brasil? Não acredito! Sério? Eu aceito. Oh my god, that makes me so happy. I want to go with you. That, you're, really, you're really, after all this time, now I'm leaving? <laughs> I wasn't brave enough to tell you before. Unfortunately, I will be able to uh, only take one. I'm going solo. Moi. I actually plan on writing a lengthy indictment against our century, and uh, there is only room for one. There's only so much room to fit in my ideas, and look, I'm, you're, you're okay, but I mean, I, this is a solo, myself, alone. No one, me. Me, me, and only me. I'm sorry. I, you shouldn't cry, by the way. It's not very becoming on camera. guest, the boss himself, William Patrick Corgan. Welcome, sir. How come I don't get to do Velvet Time? You can't, it's time. I mean, it's time. It's Velvet Time, baby. Yeah. It's always Velvet Time, baby. We got a lot to get to on this episode, but first I got to talk to you about what we just saw with Aaron Stevens. He says he's done. Your thoughts? I, 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 he believes it. I'm not sure I believe it. He's had a rough year. 
Ever since Question Mark passed away, my dear friend, here's his dear friend. Give him some time. Give him some time. And we've got plenty of action in store for you on this episode. The Rude Dudes are in action. No disqualification match against the Fixers. I hope you brought a little milk because you know they're going to bring out that cereal for you, Everybody Velvet. Everybody knows I love cereal. We Let's might be go. seeing a slam challenge as well. And in our main event, it is Mickey James taking on Kenzie Page. But first, we're going to take a look at how La Rebellion was able to reclaim, or retain, I should say, those tag team championship belts. Carter's the winner. He's a close side. He's a big close side. Mark Briscoe isolating Bestia. Again with a two-on-one attack. Pick him up on the shoulders. How fitting would it be to win the tag oh championship gosh. with a doomsday device? And they do oh, he only missed it. He it. ducked it. He rolled him up. And they retain. retain. The winners of this match and still NWA World Tag Team Champions, La Rebellion. Joe, how close were the Briscoes to victory, to winning those NWA Tag Team Championships? They were just a hair away. Just a hair away. But on numerous occasions throughout the match, they very well could have had it. The following match is one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from Boston, Massachusetts, this is Mike Bennett. This is going to be an exciting rematch from something we saw years ago when Nick Aldis was the champion back in Los Angeles. Mike Bennett had a chance at the 10 pounds of gold, came up short, but you know he hasn't forgotten about what happened that night in L.A. And his opponent from Kingsland, England, he is the national treasure, Nick Aldis! Ready for a fight, ready to compete. And WPC, I gotta talk to you. The long relationship with Nick Aldis, he's still in the hunt for the 10 pounds of gold. Yeah, but let me start here real quick. I have a long relationship with Mike Bennett. Ah, yes. I've known his wife for a long time, and when Nick and I were talking about matchups, and he wanted quality opponents, I said, what about going back to Mike Bennett? Mike Bennett has proven a lot to me and to the world in the last couple years. This is a tremendous opportunity for Mike. I'm not rooting against Nick. I just he was looking to start matchup. things off hot. He was looking to start oh, no. things off hot and made a major mistake and went face first oh, yeah, into that's that done middle turnbuckle. You know, Nick wants to make a real statement to Cardona. As he should. Kevin Keenan's asking him, are you able to compete? I mean, he hit his head pretty hard on that turnbuckle. He's, he's I mean, obviously he, he seeing stars. Came in we're like a we're right on the edge here of just stopping this right here. Okay, I, Keenan says he I can trust, fight. I trust Keenan. He puts it. Oh. The Janoku driver could be enough. What a decisive victory that would be. Two count on Bennett. Yeah. One half of the OGK. I would roll out if I was Bennett, too. And I take a lot of heat sometimes for what goes on in the spring, but I trust our referees implicitly. They're absolute professionals, and they are eyes and ears in there. The best in the business, as are our wrestlers. They call this looking for something big. Mike Bennett had a telegraph kick to the chest. And all this delightful clothesline. Sliding in immediately. Lateral press. Pick out by Bennett. I don't think I've ever seen a more focused Nick Aldis in the NWA. Oh, this which is, is hard to say. Yes. Right? Three years as champion. Multiple reigns. He is laser focused right now. Especially as of lately. Yes. Into the cover again. Two count. Well, as I've said a few times on other things, I got to hear it every single day. I want this. I want that. I need this. I need that. So trust me, I'm inside his head more than I want to be. Doesn't that get exhausting sometimes? It does, but you know what? This man rebuilt this company. Yes, sure I did. bought it, but Nick Aldis rebuilt it. And we have to be forever mindful of that. So he gets the benefit of the doubt in a lot of times. Mike Bennett came crashing down hard on that shoulder, onto his neck. All this down into the cover, inside leg hook, Only kick out. Count. But that takes nothing away from Bennett. This is what I'm saying. Bennett is a world-class opponent. So credit to Nick for wanting a world-class opponent, and credit to Bennett for wanting it. He wants it so bad. Normally we see Bennett with Matt Taven as part of the OGK, once again, going at it alone, going solo, which Bennett has done throughout his career. No stranger to singles competition, no stranger to being a world champion. And now he's pumping the brakes. Bennett trying to fight him off here. 
Yeah. Oh. Headbutt to all this. Look at that. Locking up the arm. Locked in the submission. He can't win the match. That's the, that's the experience, right? That's the experience of a Mike Bennett. Forced to break because of the count. And Bennett is now on the apron. Oh, using the top rope. That'll dislocate your shoulder. That's that experience. A lot of guys try to brawl with Nick because of his, you know, because they think they can take him on size for size. Bennett, tactician. Oh, yeah. This is why this is a great matchup. Oh, and just, the power. Just, and the power. Oh, yeah. Oh. So physically impressive. Mike Bennett. Still, like, taking it to all this, and he still seems like he's a little woozy. Not missing a beat. Bennett has picked a target as the left arm, putting pressure on that arm for the pin. When this matchup came up as a possibility, I went to Taven, and I said, are you guys still a team? He's like, oh. He has my absolute support. I love my, I love my partner. I want this. Baseball slide again, targeting the left arm. Bennett knows exactly what he's doing to all this here. Let's go, hey! Get inside, let's go! I told you! Get him out Bennett's got him lined up, perhaps oh, looking wasting, for that spear. Wasting no looking time. for that big spear. And all the oh, saw it come and answered with a big knee. Scouted. Absolutely scouted. Nick studies so much tape, it's scary. Plus, they've been there before. He's fighting through the pain, but maybe too much damage has been done to that arm. Yes! Brain buster! Brain buster! Bennett could be looking at a taste of redemption. No, a kick out. By all. Oh, you can see Nick writhing in pain now. The damage has been done to that left arm. But that right arm's but, still good. But that right arm's still good. Yes. And it, I think he's still feeling the effects of going head first in that yes. turnbuckle at the beginning of the match. Exactly. Yes, he definitely is. I Close line by Nick Aldis. Falls with the back elbow. You can see how he's still favoring the left arm. Flying back elbow, but he came down hard on the left arm again. He's, 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 he's buying time, which good strategy. Mike Bennett is such a... Crafty submission specialist as well. We forget sometimes at home the damage Three. these guys do. When you see them down like that, puffing and puffing, that's a lot of damage in a few minutes. It is. And now, once again, just what I was saying before. Right back on the already injured left arm of Nick Aldis. The pain he was in and the pain he continues to suffer at the hands of Mike Bennett. Aldis has to try to reach out. He's got to get to that bottom rope. But instead, no. The dealer's looking to power out of this, and Mike Bennett felt it coming, and he wants to put the national treasure to sleep. He's got all this on the, he's on all this back. All this gets that separation. Oh yeah, he's hurting. Both men just. That's what we like to see in the NWA. Give it your all. Every match matters. Big spear! Oh my Big gosh! Spear. Could this this is gotta be it! Hook in the inside leg! Big oh, land by so Bennett! Oh my goodness! Jesus. He was right there, and oh, Bennett Jesus. is frustrated at that. That's one of his biggest moves. The biggest bomb in his arsenal. All this looking right back. Rolling forearm. All this still on his feet. Bennett perhaps looking for a pile driver. Nick's trying so hard to counter, and he does. Picks the leg. Oh, we, we see Kingsland before. looking for the clover leaf, but he can't. But he can't because of his arm. That left arm, too much damage has been done. Oh, he's got it trapped. He's got the fingers. Bennett's transition. Bennett's experience here. You see it right here. Maestro into the two count. Bennett's a veteran of a lot of wars. It's not really easy to wrestle with only one arm. Come on, get up. Sunset flip. All this rolls through. He's got the legs again. He's going for it again. Can he and he's it got in? it. He's, he's got to fight for the pain. He's got to fight for the pain. Who's going to get him first? Who's going to yield first? Oh, Bennett's center of the ring. He's fucked up. He's out. out. He the winner of this match, Nick. Oh, damn. Great match. Great match. That could have been anybody's ball game. That 
or Mike Bennett could have tapped out, or Nick could have released the hold due to the damage on his arm, but he was able to hold on. He is one tough cookie, that Aldis. Great match. That's exactly what you want to see. Absolutely. Nick makes his argument towards Cardona. Bennett elevates himself by hanging with the former world's champion. All right, folks, we've got to keep things moving along. We'll be right, right back after this break. The NWA All Access Annual Pass on Fight. For just $49.99 a year, you can see all six NWA pay-per-views each year live on Fight. Enjoy first-run airings each Tuesday of new NWA Power episodes at a historical time of 6.05. Watch the action of NWA USA Saturdays and experience Fight-only special events and content like the acclaimed 10 Pounds of Gold series. All the action, all the power, all the pay-per-views, all the shows. For only $49.99, that's a savings of over $100 opposed to if you were just to order it all alone. To subscribe, visit fight.tv today. That's F-I-T-E dot TV. NWA All Access on Fight. Why bother with monthly subscriptions when one year gets it all? Joining me at this time is current NWA World's Heavyweight Champion, Matt Cardona. Matt, the whole world saw Nick Aldis's open declaration about becoming champion again. How do you feel about this? Again? He had his opportunity. He had his rematch, and he lost. That's not my fault. I'm not the bad guy here, but I am the champion. He had all the opportunity in the world to, to face Trevor, to do the rematch against Trevor, but he didn't want to do that. Why? Because he's a smart man. He knew if he wrestled me, he would get buzz. He would get followers on social media. But guess what, Nick? You lost. Billy Corgan knows. Billy knows that it's my company now. He knows that I am the star and I am the champion. So, Nick, get to the back of the line. You know how many people I know in this business? People that call me up. They want the shot. And anybody deserves it over you, Nick. Um, I understand, but does it bother you at all that Nick seems to be on a roll? I mean, to the fans. <laughs> I'm on a roll. To the fans. I'm the champion. He, this is my baby. I had the tens of pounds of gold. Nobody's on a roll except for me and the Cardonas. But the fans certainly think that he is the number one contender to your champion. The fans think. Do you see this? Do you see this? I am the champion. I am the world's heavyweight champion. Nick, get to the back of the line. We're done here. We're done. Okay, I'm sorry. Thank you so much, Matt. <laughs> is a no disqualification tag team match. Introducing first, the team of that dude, Jamie Stanley, and the dad bod sex god, El Rudo, the Rude Dudes. Dad bod sex god. And their opponents, the team of the wrecking ball, Lugerski, Jay Bradley. This is the Fixers. Now we know that the Rude Dudes They've been made it very clear in the back that they feel like they're an overlooked tag team. I know. Not overlooked. They're getting blown out of the water by the rise of the NWA tag division. And they came to me say, well, we want a key matchup. And I said, who? Everybody's kicking your ass left and right. So they said about the fixers, because they saw it as a way to elevate themselves. I went to the fixers and said, not those nerds. Yeah, but disqualification beat them all over the arena. So here we are. Looking at it from your perspective, this matchup is money as the first key. 390 people, 390 pounds a man. You have no clue until you stand next to him how big he is. Jamie Stanley, America's jawline. Not smart, Jamie, oh, not smart. Look at Rugging Ball, he's like, okay. Jamie Stanley, you know, six feet tall, 200. Look at the difference. Jay Bradley now the legal man, and he's picked up. Oh, he's like, he's six five, about two six. Grabbed down, jeez. Threw him like a sack of potatoes. Once again, no disqualification. So anything can happen in this matchup. No tags needed. Fixers definitely have made their impression felt here at the end of the way. Pun intended. You know, somehow Ligurski got my email. Uh oh. Okay. He just texts me, I mean, sorry, emails me, fixers rule every day. <laughs> In case you forgot. Oh, into the pits of despair. Oh, the pits 
some despair. 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 Is there no disqualification? This, yes, it is, actually. Oh, my God. Although, technically, I think that's a legal maneuver. Is this what? Is that what we're doing now? Depending if body odor is a foreign object well, or ever not. Since, ever since Velvet After Dark, I mean, things have just totally opened up here in the NWA. You're welcome, everybody. But Jamie Stanley with a big drop kick, trying to find oh, an opening, and he not does not. Work. Not with Jay Bradley. Oh. Oh. Wrecking Ball just taking it to El Rudo. Another big headbutt. And the headbutt doesn't even phase Wrecking Ball. Oh. No. A lot of times you see guys give headbutts and they have to shake it off themselves sometimes. He could give probably 50 headbutts and it wouldn't phase at all. Yeah, that. Oh, but look at Stanley. Impressive. You know, when he, Jamie came in, he was a little inexperienced, but slowly but surely, I see signs of life here. Bradley shutting him down with a knee to the midsection, but El Rudo is taking it to him now. El Rudo, international superstar. That's right. See him wrestling all yes, over Mexico. And look at these two. It's not often you see Ligurski in a side oh. headlock. Oh. Uh, maybe not a good strategy. Oh. Try it again, boys. It might be rude. You see, it, ain't, <laughs> it ain't dudin'. Can no. they do it? No. Rude dudes duck the clothesline, kicks to the midsection. Oh, we're what seeing is this now. The agility! Oh! Crashing down into the fixer. He slipped a little bit, it might kind of work in his favor because he got a little bit more of, a, of the heads, I think. Either way, they're able to take advantage now. Punch to the face of Ligurski. Jamie Stanley going to work on Bradley in the corner. Bradley being choking out. Choked out, I should say. Look, I tell uh, Rodu, you get this done, you're back up. You got, you got a case to be made, you know? That puts a lot of pressure on a tag team. Well, that's what I like to see, you see. If the fixers call the no DQ, okay, that's the way they got him in the match. But the fact of the matter is, is the way that uh, El Rudo and, and Jan Stanley can instantly elevate themselves is by beating a quality tag team. That's where we're at in the NWA. You must put it in the ring. Chops to the chest from El Rudo. To the wrecking ball. Yes. Wrecking ball holding onto the top rope. Rudy yes. both in control now with the fixer. Again, 390 pounds. Oh, look at the military oh, press. The, the military the press. The power of Ligurski. That's a long way down. Oh, yeah. oh and there might have been some ancillary damage done to the uh, cojones. Oh, yeah. Is that? Is that what we're calling them? That's what I'm going to call them for right now. We're back, we're back to Velvet After Dark. Yeah, yeah we don't say that on Velvet After Dark. We refer to, that, we refer to them as, um, you just have to get to it. That's perhaps yeah, Wrecking yeah. Balls. Yeah. Wrecking Balls is what you oh, might call oh, them. No. Wrecking Balls. Oh, oh, I don't know what you call that, but that hurts. Painful? Debilitating? Yeah, that's going to leave a mark. Career threatening? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now putting all of his weight into the throat and into the chest. That's how big his foot is. Smothering Stanley in the corner. Clubbing blow to the back by Ligurski. Stanley was trying to fight back, but a devastating headbutt again by the wrecking ball. Tag is made. Looking to sandwich him, and they do. Oh, a fixer sandwich probably comes with extra meat and extra cheese and a little extra elbow. And a lot of extra pain. This could be. Two counts. Somehow he kicks out of that. Arudo accusing the fixers of cheating, but maybe he forgot it's a no qualification match. Exactly. Somebody should go remind him. Jamie Stanley doing everything he can. I'll break from now on Jay Bradley. He's got to turn around. He's got to make a tag. Bradley putting the brakes on. 
and pulls him immediately into Ligurski. Big headbutt again. Another tag. This kid's just isolated now. This is looking pretty grim. Oh my gosh, the impact. Oh and then oh. pulls it up with a headbutt. This has got to be it here. El Rudo says no. Yeah, if El Rudo El wasn't there, no. this, this match would be over. Rudo. Yes. Oh, oh my gosh. down to the concrete. Veteran maneuver. Yes. Lands on his feet. El Rudo. Best opportunity to match for him right here. Bradley rolls through, shoulders are down. Two count. And oh what, Bradley, my. what's going on? Both members of the fixers down he was, now. I have to hand it to Jamie Stanley. He kicked out so hard, he sent Bradley out of the, out of the ring. Oh, and look at Arudo. The agility on display. Oh, wow, that takes a lot of Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. He, he, get out of it. he certainly did not, the fixers. The fixers have caught him. The fixers have caught him. Oh, okay, I get it. Major miscalculation. The fixers Woo! caught him. This is not what he had in mind. As Al and this is not what he had in mind. Post. Al Rudo's got to be out. He's got to be out. Ladies and gentlemen, no padding here. Nothing in the NWA. Everything's here to hurt you. That was a face full of steel. Here comes Bradley. Oh, oh my, my God. God. God! From the no. blind side! Stanley did not see it coming! He just got run over by a Mack truck! I might be getting an email tomorrow from Wrecking Ball. <laughs> Fixers rule? <laughs> well, I, I don't know if wins or losses count when he sends it, but it seems to be every day. You think he forgets he sends one the previous day, so I he get, wakes I, up and then I he gets... I get that feeling. Okay. The fixers with evil intent here. Double power bomb. The boss calling They're for whatever they're calling yet. for. Oh. Knee drop, splash combination. You could probably count to ten. Good night. And good lord. The winners of this match, <laughs> the fixers. We need to get somebody out here to check on El Rudo. Yeah, that was pretty hard hitting. That's definitely not the way it may that the Rudo was wanting to go. Painting, but it was brutal. I don't know. That was a tough showing for the road. Rude dudes. Congratulations, fixers. We got to take a break. We'll be back. Oh, and he came down hard. He came down hard. Oh, oh man, goes down hard again. Oh, he got him. He still the winner of this match, and still NWA National Champion, Jax Day. NWA fans, you can hear it from the audience right here. Joining me at the podium at this time, none other than the Pope. Pope, 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 Pope. Pope, the fans are behind you. However, I know what's really on your mind on this. You had the opportunity, the champion series opportunity. You went for the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. And unfortunately right now, you didn't come out on the other end, the victor. Textile cow. Normally, Pope would be a little amped up out here because I gotta be honest, I love standing beside you and you holding this little microphone for Pope to do his shtick. Everybody's been asking since that moment went down well, Pope, what's next? Pope, what are you gonna do? Let me be frank about this thing, okay? 
Pope's past is not indicative of his future. You understand what I'm saying? Absolutely, we're going to have our ups, we're going to have our downs, we're going to have our highs, daddy, we're going to have our lows. But the one thing Pope's going to do is what he's always done, daddy, and that's keep on keeping on. Now then, what is next, Pope? Where do you go from here, Pope? Well, understand that if you are in this business, whether you're one of the boys or the girls in the back, your main goal is to get to the top of the National Wrestling Alliance. I want to be clear, Daddy, the view has not changed. The view has not changed. And before Pope allowed his detractors, before Pope allowed his enemies to win, Pope's going to get back up, Daddy, and I'm going to fight again. I'm glad to hear that. I guess it's official. Pope's got a Pope. Let's take a break. For over 70 years, one name has stood for history, legacy, and tradition in professional wrestling. And the centerpiece of that legacy is the original lineal heavyweight championship of the world. The one that started them all, known to many as the 10 pounds of gold. Now, by popular demand, you can own your very own symbol of excellence. As the NWA has teamed up with Fandu Belts to bring you the official replica of the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. This meticulously handcrafted belt is available in two options, the original pre-2021 glory, as well as the revised 2021 version with the UK plate updated by yours truly. Own the granddaddy of them all, the 10 pounds of gold. To order, visit fandubelts.com slash NWA. The following is an Idol Mania Slam Challenge. Introducing from Clarksville, Tennessee, this is Big Strong Mims. And we're gonna find out exactly how strong Big Strong Mims is. Can he lift up Tyrus? Can he slam the manster? Challenger number two, we saw Sion be unsuccessful at his challenge, but I think if anyone can do it, it's Mims. Remember, with Idol Mania, it's not just the physical challenge, it's the psychological oh, challenge. Yeah. It's what they're telling you at ringside. It's yeah. what they're putting on social media. And it's what they're whispering in the back. Idol Mania Talent Management. He is the man that claims he cannot be slammed and the NWA World Television Champion from Maddenville, Louisiana. This is a great American smash, Tyrus. Is it really necessary for all of them to be out here? It seems so. <laughs> all you need is Tyrus and a challenger. And, a, refer and a referee. And a referee, absolutely. Keep in mind, if oh. Bims can make that slam, if he can lift up Tyrus and slam him down, he's going to get a chance at the NWA World Television Championship. Bims got a lot of heart and soul, a lot of power and strength behind him. Like I said, if anyone can do it, I believe Mims can. But Tyrus is 375 pounds, and as we saw with Sion, he's not just going to stand there and let you pick oh, him up. No. This is still a fight. Yep. It's his world, it's his rules. Making the challenge even more challenging. But Tyrus makes the challenge, and it seems like he doesn't give his opponent a fair chance to try and well, slam him. Sorry to interrupt you. In talking to Tyrus, he sees this as something like, it's like a in-your-face type of thing. It's not strictly just getting up. It's like, can you withstand the pressure? Tyrus has already had five successful title defenses. Tyrus feels he's given these guys a gift by even offering these opportunity. Do you think deep down somewhere that Tyrus might be a little insecure about maybe possibly getting slammed by someone? And that's why he has to play these head games? I've known Tyrus a long time. He's not insecure about anything. He might be way, way deep inside. And Mims trying to get down low. Tyrus backing up. He's going to get three opportunities. That was one. 
Mims has a good case. I mean, I'm here to slam. Let, let me give me a chance, right? Two more shots. Two more shots. That's one. The more attempts, though, by the third one. Mims he had to see what happened with Sion. He's had to come in here with some sort of strategy. Here comes Idle again. The strategy is just slam Tyrus. Oh, he's trying to rush into it. And, uh, Tyrus slams him down. Axe handles the back of the neck. That can't be legal. This that can't be legal. No, it's one. Here we go. He's got him. Here comes Rocket. I mean, of course, there's chaos. Clearwater. Bye. See you later. Side belly to belly, and Tyrus feeling the pain from the slam, but Rocket coming from behind, and the numbers game oh, is too much for on, Mims. Come on, That's no. a lot for Mims to take on. Tyrus didn't think it could happen. Idol didn't think it could happen, but Mims made it happen, living up to the name. Big, strong Mims. I am so impressed with Mims wow. all around. This place is electric right now. Stop! What do you mean he cheated? You cheated! You're the cheater! Hey, Tyrus has the chair! Tyrus has the chair! Check your officials out here! Big strong man is right. Tyrus is hot. He is hotter than a two-dollar pistol. He's thinking about is he gonna go in? Is he gonna have the te television championship match? Is that gonna happen now? I'll see you in court, Corbin! All chaos has broken loose on here. And he's taking his belt and he's going home. He's not giving him the match. He's not giving him the match. I am contesting this! I'll see you now. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I see you now. I see you now. How often do you see Tyrus run from an opponent? From anybody. Never. From anybody. Never ever. But you know what? Mittens has to will stop that. I'll leave and never come back. I will leave this horrible state and never come back. He is rattled. You saw he pulled my hair. You saw he hooked my tights. And you will never, you will never, you will never be world television champion. He probably also didn't think Mims would slam him either, and he Yeah, I, don't, I think did. he thought he had an easy night at the office. Wow. Mims victorious. I hope he gets a shot at that television title. We got to take a break. We'll be back. Wrestling fans, join us Saturday, April 30th in Oak Grove, Kentucky for Power Trip 2, our latest NWA Power taping event. Here's just a few of the matches already scheduled for our return to the Bluegrass State. One half of the Commonwealth Connection, Harry Smith, takes on a man that's been wreaking havoc since his arrival in the NWA, Mike Knox. The NWA World Junior Heavyweight Champion Homicide puts his title on the line against the last bastion of professional wrestling, Colby Carino. And the national treasure, Nick Aldis, faces NWA newcomer, Brian. Ryan Myers. Also scheduled to appear, the NWA World Women's Champion, the Brickhouse Camille. NWA World Television Champion, Tyrus. Tom Latimer. Former NWA World's Heavyweight Champion, Trevor Murdoch. And many more. For tickets, visit NWATix.com. That's NWATix.com. Please welcome Genocide and one half of the OGK, Matt Taven. Guys, I was told that both of you have breaking news you'd like to share with me. What's that all about? Okay. Oh, me first. Well, it turns out that uh, I went to Billy Corgan. I told Billy, I said, Billy, I want to do what I've done everywhere around the world. I want to succeed just like I've done in my career time after time again. I want all 10 pounds of the NWA title. And he told me, hey. That can start right here next week. Judas, Matt Taven, a guy I don't know well, big guy, scary guy, but that doesn't matter to me because he is I and I am him and I am Matt Taven. Okay, genocide? And I as well went to the NWA and I asked for something real. And next week you will see yours truly versus Kylan King and Chelsea Green. And you know what? This match is going to be tough. It's going to be grueling, but it's going to be for the number one contenders match. And genocide is ready. That's really exciting news, guys. I wish both of you the best of luck. Thank you for being here today.
Welcome back to the program, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, William Patrick Corgan is joining us on the commentary table, and I understand you got a big announcement for us. You know, Matt Cardone has said something earlier in the telecast that's been kind of sticking in my mind, right? He's bearing everybody here. He's saying no one really deserves to face him. He's fully aware that Mr. Murdoch has another title shot, so I think that's a bit of a head game thing. He's talking really big that he might bring to the NWA a big outside opponent. He certainly has the social media and, uh, let's call it, brand identity to do so. And I'm not opposed. I'm a promoter. I want the best matchups for the NWA. But he said something that really stuck in my mind. And, you know, sometimes somebody says something that just kind of rotates around and rotates around. And I thought, you know what? He may save the NWA, according to him. This place may change because of him. But until it does, it's still my show. Hear that? Okay. And what we do here in the NWA is wrestle. He implied there is no one here that he has to worry about beating, other than, of course, the obvious. But how about this? How about we do it old school wrestling style? Six man, Harry Smith, Doug Williams, Nick Aldis versus the Cardonas next week. All right, major announcement. I'm looking forward to that. (laughs) That is going to be one heck of a main event. June 11th, the National Wrestling Alliance returns to pay-per-view with NWA Always Ready, live from Knoxville, Tennessee. Scheduled to appear, NWA World Heavyweight Champion Matt Cardona, Nick Aldis, Trevor Murdoch, NWA World Women's Champion Camille, Chris Adonis, NWA World Television Champion Tyrus, and many more. Tickets on sale now at NWATix.com. That's NWATix.com. The National Wrestling Alliance. Wrestling as it was meant to be. It is now main event time here on NWA Power. We have a very special guest. I feel like I've seen this duo before. Yes, this is my BFF, my PIC, my bestie, one half of the beautiful people, Angelina Love, baby. She is here with us. We are so excited. Welcome. I am beyond excited. You know I can't get enough of you. Hey, I can't get enough of you either, baby. And I can't get enough of the action we're seeing in our women's division. Mickey James is in action now. The following match is one fall with a 20-minute time limit and is your main event. Introducing first, from Knoxville, Tennessee, she is pretty empowered, Kenzie Page! We saw a different side of Kenzie Page at the Crockett Cup, of uh, something we're not really familiar with. You know, I think that that had a lot to do with the influence from her tag team partner, but now that she's back here and she's riding solo tonight, I don't know exactly what Kenzie Page we're going to see. I don't think she's necessarily humbled herself yet. And her opponent from Richmond, Virginia, this is Hardcore Country, Mickey James! But if anybody can humble anybody, it's Mickey James. We know a lot about humbling, don't we, Angelina? We sure do. And, you know, I've been in the ring with Mickey numerous times, and Kenzie, I hope she knows what she's in for with this match. Well, if she doesn't know, she's going to find out real quick. Hardcore country, always motivated to do the best. Always motivated to win a championship. She does it everywhere she goes. And Kenzie Page, talk about the pressure being on for her. Only 20 years old and a handshake yeah, to Kenzie, start things off. Kenzie Page, since she's come to the NWA, she's proven that she can go toe-to-toe with the best of them, with anyone. She's very, very impressive as a wrestler. Or elbow tie-up. Feeling out process between these two. I had a chance to talk with Mickey James about Kenzie Page. Also spoke very, very highly of this young woman. Says the sky is the limit for her. She has a ton of potential. And it's got to be really, it's got to be really interesting for Kenzie too because Mickey's been wrestling for as long as Kenzie's been alive. This is true. <laughs> hey, keep in mind, Kenzie Page, she sees what it means to be a part of the National Wrestling Alliance. That's why she has signed a contract with the NWA. She wants to be here. She wants to succeed here. She wants to hold on to gold here. And the best way to be put into that, that title picture is by getting major victories. And a victory over Mickey James would certainly be that. Yeah. She certainly has proven, though, that she belongs here in the NWA. As I said before, she, she can go toe-to-toe with the best of them. 
no matter who it is. Mickey's got that arm locked up, though. Kenzie trying to get to the ropes. Shoulders are down. Innovative pin there. Oh, is that it? Whoa, that was close. That, that was, was close. very close. Did you see that? Fraction of an inch. Kenzie's got to watch that. She's got to be quick with her kick out. Because Mickey will get right back on top of her like oh, she yeah. just did. Side headlock takeover. Kevin Keenan's right there watching the shoulders. She rolls her up for a pin, though. Only a one count on the veteran Mickey James. You know, and it's good for Kenzie, too, to wrestle somebody like Mickey because she's going to learn. No matter what, she's going to learn right. in this match, and she's going to come out of it better. Absolutely right. James, big shoulder block from Hardcore Country. Cartwheel. Outside oh, step. She misses it. Oklahoma roll. 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 Two count. You know, that's a little signature Mickey move, oh, so maybe Kenzie gosh. studied. Yes. Big knee right to the bridge of the nose, oh. follows it up with a forearm. Kenzie getting dirty. Mickey James trying to shake it off. We like that. We know that works. We sure do. You gotta get dirty in the ring sometimes. That's right. Stepping up. Huh? Okay, Mickey. Her version of the sunset flip. Versus the pin. These women are going. Oh, and look at Jack Knight cover. Two count. Kenzie Page not allowing Mickey James a moment to breathe. Looking for a cross face, perhaps, and Mickey James, the veteran, knew exactly where she was, but oh, Kenzie. Kenzie pulls her back in the middle of the ring. Kenzie's all over Mickey. You have to be all over Mickey because she's so quick. She'll turn it right around on you like she's right there. Shoulders are down after the arm drag, one count. Dude. Mickey's thinking, okay. <laughs> exactly. Oh, oh my she, God. She's seeing stars. She's knocked down on her feet. I think I felt that. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Dean, what a kick to the face. <laughs> Kenzie, though, hanging up, hanging in there despite the beating she's taking. And Mickey's always got something up her sleeve. She oh, paid open Kenzie. on the brakes. Well, oh, package. Oh, 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 who's trying to get the advantage? The rolling pin. The Mickey's got her. Oh. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Ducks the clothesline. Kenzie Page. Rolls on. Goes for the super kick. Kenzie had it. Excuse me. Mickey had it scouted. Now into the half grab. She is nowhere near a rope. It's going to be interesting to see how she gets out of this. She's got to inch her way to the ropes or somehow find a way to get out of it, but she's so close. So close to the ropes. Nope, Mickey's there coming right back out. That's a veteran right there. Yep. Now transitioning to the full box oh. to Carlo. She's going deep. She's oh, going the deep with the full crab. Oh, the oh. pressure. Oh. Kenzie's in trouble right now. She's in trouble. She's really got to try to make her way to the rope before oh, more damage is done. And she does she it. it. But has the damage already That's been done? That's exactly what I was just saying. Yes, before the damage sets in. Oh. Oh. Answering back with a super gun. Oh, she might be out. Major ups out here. Kenzie could do it. Oh, oh so close. close. Oh. Kenzie came to fight tonight. Yeah, she should. She knows what it means to be in the main event of NWA Power. She knows the world is watching. Everyone who appreciates the sport of professional wrestling. All eyes on the NWA is Kenzie Page. Beautiful vertical suplex floats into the cover. Lateral press to count. And she is just all over Mickey. She knows I have just got to keep getting on her. I, I know I say this every time Kenzie is out there, but I'm just so impressed by her. Like we said, she's so young. She's got so much experience under her belt in the ring with veterans and just all kinds of women. And she definitely has proven that she has earned the contract and earned her right to be here in the NWA and in the main event at that. She's got a long career ahead of her, too. She sure does. Big reversal there by Mickey James. Hardcore country into the corner. Eats a back elbow. Oh, eats another back elbow. Beautiful head scissors. I've been on the receiving end of that a lot. I mean, it's not I know easy. What that's like. Yeah. It's not easy to hang in the ring with Mickey James, and if you can do it, like just like Kenzie's doing, she's again proven why she belongs here. 
Mickey. Ooh, oh, that neck breaker. Breaker. Ooh, that. Ooh. that was harsh. That was a hard bump for Kenzie. Could be it there. Oh, Kenzie staying in the fight. Got so much heart, that Kenzie. Big fan of her. Get up, Kenzie. Mickey's got to dig deep now. She's pretty much thrown everything she can at Kenzie so far. Yeah, you're right. Got her lined up. Looking for the Mickey DDT. Oh, can she hit it though? Oh, Kenzie Ken spins out. Kick to the head to Mickey. Beautiful roundhouse kick. Could Does be she have it. Shoulders are down. Big oh, strike. Oh, 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 close. Oh, Kenzie almost had her. For full Nelson, up trapped her, shoulders uh -oh. are down, kick out. Picking her up, oh! Crashing face first, Mickey James just letting a match with a kip up. You know, Mickey getting that second wind, I think I know what's coming next. Oh yeah, we've all seen this before. <laughs> Kenzie, Kenzie's in trouble, she doesn't move out. out of the way. Oh, Mickey hits it! Just broke her in half almost. Oh my gosh. And yet, still not going for the cover. Here comes Mickey. Went for the kick. Kenzie with the clothesline. Oh, she's got her. Max oh, cover. She... Big upset. Oh, oh, so close. Kenzie's so close so many times to winning this match and pinning Mickey James. What a huge victory it would be for Kenzie Page to pin Mickey James. I like how Kenzie just keeps going for Mickey no matter what. Oh, no. She's staying on her. Absolutely. Kick to the midsection. Oh, here we go. She could be in here. Oh, she hits it. The Mickey DDT. But it's got to be enough. Can she kick it. out? Can she kick out? Mickey got her. The winner of this match, hardcore country, Mickey James. What now a that main was a hard fought girl. victory. What a main <laughs> event. Excellent showing between both women. Kenzie Page came up on the losing end, but definitely held her own against a legend like Mickey James. And Angelina, I think you mentioned it early on, even with the loss, so much you can learn in a match, having a match with a woman like Mickey James. Yeah, that's not a loss to be ashamed of by any means with that match that Kenzie had. Congratulations, Hardcore Country. We have more action for you this Saturday on NWA USA. Woo!